Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've had a couple of requests over the last while on how to download and install a Windows update manually. Now I know a lot of you know how to do this already, but in this video I will just demonstrate for those who don't and answer the question on how to download and install a Windows update manually. Now Windows updates are delivered to the Windows operating system through the Windows update process and for whatever reason the update will not download and install correctly through the Windows update process you have an alternative uh, solution where you can go and download the update manually from the Microsoft update catalog and normally the download uh, the manual download and installation will get the update to install correctly if it is not working properly in the Windows update download and installation process now Online, you just go and do a search for Microsoft Update Catalog. And when you open the Update Catalog, it'll just start in the Welcome screen. And in the search, you just enter the update that you are trying to get installed. Now, as an example, I'm just going to use last week's Patch Tuesday Cumulative Update, which rolled out, which was KB5005033. And then you just hit Enter. And on the left here, you will see all the Windows 10 versions that that update applies to you. Now if you don't know what version of Windows uh, 10 you are using, you just head into your Windows settings system, go down to the bottom and just click on about and that will give you all the details uh, if it's a 32-bit, 64-bit, you know, um, what version you are using and so on. And that will answer and, um, you know, get you to see what version of Windows 10 you are using if you don't know. And then I'm using Windows 10 version 21H 164 bit so if i click on that actual update it gives me all the update details we can see it's 609.4 megabytes in size gives you the overview and you can actually uh, go to microsoft support to see what the update actually addresses you have package details and yeah it says the update replaces the following updates so you can actually see um what other updates you have previously installed that this update is actually going to be replacing which is quite handy and then install resources can request restart and so on and if we close that and we just head back to that entry 21h164 bit and i go to the download and i click on that it tells me a cumulative update for windows 10 version 21h1 and that's for 64-bit uh, operating systems, KB5005033. Now that's exactly how it appears in the Windows Update, and it's exactly the same update that you would get through the Windows Update in Windows 10. And then we just click on the download link, and now you have two options. You can actually uh, click on open, where the if you don't know where your download location is, this will download, and then uh, once the uh, uh, the download is uh, finished it will start the installation process automatically and as in this example i'm just going to go save it to my download location uh, on my hard drive and i'm going to go save as now i've already downloaded the update um, as it will take too long to demonstrate in this video and once it's downloaded obviously then you just head over to your download location on your pc and mine is in my file explorer and downloads and here is the package windows 10 update kb5005033 and then all you do is you double click on that package to start the installation process now it says windowed windows update standalone installer preparing the installation now depending on uh, obviously the size and speed of your computer this can take a while so basically what it's doing is just preparing like any other exe file and package it's preparing the installation to be uh, installed onto your Windows operating system and it should be uh, finishing shortly as I have run this already and now it's searching for updates on this computer and once again like the previous step this depends on the size and speed of your operating system and just like any uh, update in Windows update it's searching for updates on this computer so it's just the manual way of uh, doing the Windows update process on your Windows operating system and this should be finishing soon searching for updates on this computer and there we go now what will happen here is uh, it will ask you then if you want to install it now you can see that windows update standalone installer i already have the update on my computer so um, it won't let me install it so it's actually a, a safety net if you already have that update installed it'll just tell you this update is already installed so what you do 
if uh, um, obviously you are downloading it and it's finished uh, searching, you just say install and then it'll you just follow the steps for the installation process and then you will have to restart your PC to apply the update. And that is uh, basically how you download and install a Windows um, update manually on your machine if it is not downloading correctly through the Windows update process. And then when you go back to your Windows update, you will actually see the update. If you go to view update history, you will actually see it uh, in the update list on your PC as, as it will be uh, installed just like any normal update um, that you would have installed through the Windows update process. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.